two, one. Good evening. We'll start the, thank you, Public Safety Beer and Regulated Beverages Committee meeting. It's Thursday, November 5th, 5.15 p.m. I'm, I'm sorry, it is not 5.15, it's a quarter to six. And I'll start with the attendance. Uh, Councilman Pulley is not here. Councilwoman Johnston, not here. Councilman Nash is here. Uh, Roberts, no. Rosenberg, no. Swope is here, present. Taylor is present. Gamble is present and Porterfield is present. So we do have a quorum with five members present. And we. Sure. Yeah, I do. Sure. Uh, Hall, is, Hall is not on this committee. Okay. We'll get started uh, with the agenda. And. I do have a consent agenda, and if I read those items, and if they need something needs to pu be pulled off, then, then please let me know. We will start with RS 2020-615, Gamble approves an intergovernmental agreement between the Metro Government and Electric Power Board of the Metro Government and the United States Department of Justice Division of Alcohol tobacco and firearms for the interoperability of the digital analog 800 MHZ radio communication system. Also, RS 2020-616 approves an, uh, Tunes and Gamble approves an interlocal agreement between the Emergency Communications District for Nashville and Davidson County and the Metro government for, for partial funding of replacement 800 MHZ radio equipment in use by public safety agencies. Also, RS 2020-617 by Toombs, Gamble, and Styles accepts a donation of 3,000 one-gallon soft foam hand sanitizers from steel gorillas to the Office of Emergency Management for the use and benefit of Metro government departments. Is there, is there anything? Okay, thank you. And all those in favor of the consent agenda? Say aye. aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? All right, thank you. Five in favor, zero against. Mr. Rosenberg has arrived, so I will add him to the attendance list. And we will go back to uh, Resolution 2020-612 by Toombs, Gamble, and Welch. Appropriates a total of $200,000 from the COVID-19 pandemic fund number 30099 to various nonprofit organizations selected to receive community partnership fund grants. May I have a motion? Second. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Yes. Did or did it need approval of the committee that set up to allocate? Yes. Funds? So this particular uh, allocation was made early on before the committee was established. The council approved the allocation of, I believe it was $2.5 million for the community partnership fund. And they are just now getting around to distributing these funds of that 2.5 million, 200,000 is being recommended for allocation to the office of family safety uh, to go to a couple of agencies, a nurture the next, uh, the Tennessee Coalition of, to End Domestic Violence, the Nashville Children's Alliance, Mary Parish Center, and Agape. Uh, so the, the total amount of those distributions to those agencies is $200,000. But this um, happened, this allocation happened before the committee, so we didn't actually go through the uh, uh, process that we normally do for all, that we have for all the other resolutions because this resolution was passed by the council prior to the committee meeting, but it is of those funds that have already been approved. Any other questions? All right, uh, a motion to approve. All those in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, and the final bill is BL 2020 494 by Stiles, who is not here. And so uh, this resolution, and I'll read it, but it looks like it's going to be deferred by rule. Um, okay. 
he amends the Metro Code relative to use license plate scanners by law enforcement for prosecution of reckless drivers. All right, we'll defer that by rule, and that concludes our meeting. Thank you. This has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.gov.